Welcome to Atis Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve problem set 21. In this problem set, we have 8 questions for subtraction, the like fractions. When we observe the fractions, we notice that there are like fractions and we have to subtract them. It's very easy to subtract like fractions. How? Let's see. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel for easy maths learning. So, let's start to our problem set 21. The first question is subtract. Here are 8 sub questions. And first sub question in it is 5 upon 7 minus 1 upon 7. Let's subtract it in our notebook. Problem set 21. First question is subtract. And first sub question in it is 5 upon 7 minus 1 upon 7. Look here. Here we have two like fractions. When we are going to subtract like fractions, we have to just ignore their denominators and consider their numerators. So here we are going to consider numerators. Numerators are 5 and 1. We have to subtract them and find the difference between two numerators. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Just write their denominators as a common denominator 7 and here on the answer write their 7. Remember while subtracting two like fractions we have to just ignore their denominators and consider their numerators. Means we have to find only difference between these two numerators given to us in question and we are going to write their denominators as a common denominator in our answer. Okay. Now the second question given to us is 5 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8. 5 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8. In this question we are going to write here their denominators as a common and Ignoring de denominators, we are going to subtract the numerators. Numerators are 5. Let's place here minus sign or subtraction sign and 3. So the answer is 5 minus 3. We get 2 upon 8. The subtraction of 5 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8 is 2 upon 8. Never subtract or add the denominators. The third question is 7 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9. 7 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9. Here we have denominator 9 write it as a common denominator and then write the then write numerators and subtract them it's easy look 7 minus 2 it's 5 upon 9 this is our answer fourth question is 8 upon 11 Minus 5 upon 11. Just ignore their denominators and write them as a common denominator. Then subtract their numerators. 8 minus 5, we get 3. 3 upon 11 is our answer for fourth question. The fifth question is 9 upon 13. 
minus 4 upon 13. Now you, you understand it very well that we are going to write here 13 as a common denominator and on upper side we are going to subtract the numerators 9 minus 4. The answer we get here is 5 upon 13. Look, it's very easy. Now, sixth number question. The question is 7 upon 10 minus 3 upon 10. In this question, our common denominator is 10 and our numerators are 7 and 3. Just subtract them and find the difference. 7 minus 3, it's 4. 4 upon 10 is our answer. Seventh question is 9 upon 12 minus 2 upon 12. So, never add or subtract denominators. We are going to write them as a common and just find the difference between two numerators. 9 minus 2, it's a 7. And our denominator is 12. So answer for 7th question is 7 upon 12. Now the question number 8. 10 upon 15 minus 3 upon 15. Here our common denominator is 15 and our numerators are 10 and 3. Just subtract them and find the difference. The difference is 7 and our denominator is 15. 7 upon 15 is the answer for 8th question. Now question number 2. The question is. 7 upon 10 of a wall is to be painted. There is a wall and the total part of wall is 7 upon 10 for painting. Ramu has painted 4 upon 10 of it. Ramu just painted 4 upon 10 part of 7 upon 10 part. How much more needs to be painted? Here we have to find out the remaining wall to be painted. So for each, here we have to subtract total area of wall to be painting with painted area of wall. So the total area of wall to be painted is 7 upon 10 and Painting finished wall is 4 upon 10. So, just subtract 7 upon 10 and 4 upon 10. Here we are going to subtract. Question 2. The answer is 7 upon 10 minus 4 upon 10. It's very easy. These are the like fractions. So we are going to write the denominators as a common denominator and going to subtract their numerators. Find the difference here. 7 minus 4. The difference is 3 and our denominator is 10. So 3 upon 10 is the answer for our question. 3 upon 10 part of wall needs to be painted. This is our answer in words. Always write your answer in word while you are going to solve word problems. So this is the solution of our Problem set 21. I hope you will understand it very well. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.